Hey guys, today I'm just going to give a quick uh, rundown on what to check if your engine isn't running. Um, this works for two strokes and four strokes. So I'll just give you a brief thing on the whipper snippers to start off. So first of all, if it's not running, um, you check the easiest thing first. So you check the fuel first of all. So just make sure you've got fuel in the tank. If that's correct, then um, give it a few primes. Now this primer bulb and this one is here. So you just give it a few primes. This one doesn't actually have any fuel in it. Um, when you're storing these things, it's best to keep them with no fuel in there. For one, most of the time they just leak out because they don't really have the greatest um, sealed lines on them. So. Uh, and also, if you just leave fuel in there, it gets a bit gummed up in the carb and it can screw it up a bit. Anyway, give it a few primes, maybe four primes, five primes, and then put it on choke and then try to start it. If you just try to start it without priming it, most likely it won't start. Um, you really need to prime two strokes. They just need that spray of fuel in the carb because they don't, they're not very good at sucking in fuel themselves when they're cold. Um, so yeah, you put it on choke, give it a few primes, and give it a couple of pulls, maybe five or something. And then once it starts a little bit, then you can chuck it on uh, off choke or half choke, and then it should run. If it doesn't run, then it could be a spark. Like I said, you check the easiest things first. On this one, the spark plug is located at the bottom. Um, someone will be at the top or whatever. So just take off this little HT lead and then this gets to your spark plug. Um, now to take off the spark plug, there's all different sizes, so there's no, there's not one specific size. Um, now then you get your little spark plug tool. I'm not sure if this one's going to fit. It isn't. So you, you get your little spark plug tool. This one is uh, for bigger four-stroke spark plugs. Or you can just get a spanner and get the spark plug out. Then once it's out, plug it back into this lead and sit it against the head. Because this needs to ground to be actual to be able to spark. So you need to sit it, the spark plug against the head, then give it a crank. If it's not sparking, you either need to clean the spark plug or get a new one. Uh, to clean it, what you do is you just get a little bit of sandpaper, you fold it over, and then just rub the sandpaper in between the little metal bit that sits like that, and the little uh, electrode, and you just rub a bit of sandpaper in between them to get them all nice and shiny. Then wish it about in a little bit of fuel, and then chuck it, uh, and then test it again. If it sparks, then great. If not, you need a new spark plug. If it's still not running after that, you can check whether it's the carburetor. Because if it's not getting fuel, then obviously it's not going to run. So to check if it's the carburetor, I mean, you could, yeah, take off the carburetor and clean it, but, I mean, that's a really long process. So what you do is you get some fuel, uh, just about a teaspoonful or something. Take the spark plug out, put some fuel down into the cylinder, put the spark plug on, put it back on, and give it a few pulls. It should kick over after about the second or something pull. It should kick over a little bit. If it's not, then you can move on to your carburetor. Now, if it is your carburetor, you're going to need to give it a clean. I have a video on how to clean your carburetor, it is a little bit old, I didn't really know a lot about engines when I made that, but it should give you a, a hand. If not, um, you can search on YouTube or just Google um, how to clean a carburetor, a two-stroke carburetor, and that should give you a few tips. Um, if I do tell you in this video how to clean it, it's going to be a 10-minute video just to clean the carburetor, so I won't show you how to, that, how to do that. Um, there is a very good um, tutorial on YouTube, uh, how to clean a two-stroke carburetor, which I used, 
when I cleaned mine, uh, so I recommend watching that one. If I find it, I'll put the link in the description, just there. Okay, now if it's, um, if it is running, or, you know, running a little bit bad, it could be your air filter. So what you do is you take off this cap here, and there'll be a little air filter element in there. Get that and clean it out. I also have a tutorial on how to clean air filters. So just go to my page, just click up on uh, how to get to my, click on the Brennan V101 over there. And then in the little search bar on the right hand side, um, you'll be able to search if you click on the see all videos, search for uh, air filter. And that will give up the tutorial on how to clean your air filter. So you need to clean that. If it's still not working after that and you've cleaned your carburetor, uh, it could be your muffler. Now, if your muffler is clogged, obviously the uh, gases aren't allowed to escape and it's just going to clog up and your engine is just going to die. So what you need to do is take off your muffler. Now on this one it just comes off with a couple of um, bolts. So just take those out, take the muffler off and then try to start it. Now it is going to be very loud because it doesn't have a muffler on it. And it is a little bit bad for your engine, so don't try to run it for a long time. Just just run it for five seconds or so. Um, you're not really, really going to be able to run it that for much longer than that because it's either going to break your eardrums or annoy the hell out of your neighbours. But if it is working after you take the muffler off, then you have to clean the muffler. Now you can do that just by um, spraying the air compressor through it. If you got enough PSI, you probably want to spray it through it about 120 PSI or more and that's going to blow out all the carbon. Um, if you don't have an air compressor, you really are a bit limited. Um, you're not going to be able to clean it as good, um, but you can get away with just leaving it in soapy water, um, hot soapy water in like a bucket or something and wish it around and then leave it in there overnight and keep on wishing it around. Uh, it's not going to get all the carbon out obviously, but it should unblock it enough. And also in the port itself, if there's a lot of carbon in the port, um, just get a little flathead screwdriver and sort of scrape the carbon out. Just be very careful, don't really gouge it because you don't want to gouge aluminium. Uh, it is pretty soft metal, so you don't want to scrape that otherwise it's going to uh, interrupt the flow and not make your engine run as good as it can. So be careful with that. If you're not too sure about that one, don't do that, just clean the muffler out. So if it's not working after all of that, then, well, it's a, a more of a major problem. You either have a leaking head gasket or crankcase gasket, or your rings are gone, or, um, you know, something inside the actual engine itself is broken. But usually, it's either the carburetor it's it's uh, blocked or you're not getting a spark that is a really the two main problems so check your spark if it's not the spark your carburetor is probably blocked um, if you're not too sure on cleaning the carburetor you can take it to your local lawnmower guy and he'll be happy to um, clean it out for you for a small fee um, Cleaning carburetor isn't that hard, but you do need an air compressor to do it. So if you don't have one of those, you're not going to be able to clean it out. Um, you do need high pressure air to spray out all the dust and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you, that helped you out, guys. Um, this video was sort of for a guy at my school who was talking to me on how to fix his little two-stroke engine. Um, just thought I'd do a video on that, so hopefully that helps out a few people. If you need a more detailed tutorial, uh, if I have enough requests, I will do another one uh, more detailed on how to clean the carburetor because I know my old video isn't the greatest. It should just give you an idea on how to clean it, but if it's not the greatest, I'll make a new um, how to clean your carburetor video. The muffler is pretty self-explanatory. The spark, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. So, yeah, other than that, I uh, hope to help you out, guys, and catch you guys later.